Uh, inside, the plumbers got as far as they could with the PVC drains and vents, and now they've moved on to the water supply lines. I'm using plastic for that as well. This is PEX tubing. This is very similar to what we've used in our radiant floor heating in the past. Same flexibility and strength. They're using red for hot and white for cold. The guys are using 100 foot coils because they can cover long runs without needing a lot of fittings to angle through the framing, even when it's 16 inches on center. They can just drill their holes as needed and pull the pipe through. Now the pipe's flexibility also makes it easy to change direction without having to cut the pipe and put in an elbow. And just take the tubing, slip it right into this bend support, snap it in place just like so. Now these are going to help eliminate the need for any extra fittings and less fittings equals less places where you might have a leak and if you've ever had a leak inside a wall, well, we all know that's no fun. Now you can make some rock solid joints with the expansion fittings used in this system and what we mean by expansion is the guys flare out the end of the pipe to make it big enough for the fitting. Then once it's released, the end of the pipe shrinks back down over the fitting to create a strong connection. They say that the pipe's thermal memory actually makes the joint even stronger over time. And if the heat goes out, there's less chance of these pipes bursting and causing a flood inside because this PEX can expand up to three times its normal size without breaking. So that can help avoid a potential disaster.